Hey, 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 Coach Garen here, and wanted to do a quick video to talk to you about uh, burnout and burnout from feeding the family. Because uh, let's, let's face it, if you're uh, the one doing all the cooking, then it's very easy to get burnt out from uh, having to think of what to cook, all the cooking prep, and just those days where you just don't feel like cooking at all. So I want to try and give you some tips on how to stop that burnout so you can be less stressed and, uh, and happier and uh, just in a better mood all around. And uh, that's always good for you. And um, hopefully some of these tips as well can free up a little bit of your time so that you can uh, sit back at uh, the odd meal time and relax and enjoy it for for what it is and have some good quality family time. At least that's the idea anyway. So first of all, it's not sexy, and uh, but it's not something that a lot of people do. It's creating a meal plan for the week. So taking time out um, at some point during the week, you know, Sunday, um, it's just to sit down for, for 10 minutes and think, right, Monday to Friday at least, it would be, you know, usually those days are the ones that cause most, most trouble. But Monday to Friday, right, what am I going to cook in those evenings? Because let's face it, mornings, fairly simple. Lunch times, okay, during summer holidays and things like that, then it can be a bit more tricky. But uh, if it's during school time, you've got kids, and then it's usually the evenings that uh, are the troublesome ones. But uh, let's say we're in summer holidays right now, only a couple of weeks left. So you'd be looking to plan Monday to Friday, maybe lunch and dinner. Now, you've probably already got a couple of go-to meals already, so you can slot them right in. And then it's working around those those meals and thinking about what, what can we cook? What are the kids going to eat? Um, what should we try that's new? Because occasionally you do need to throw in something that's new, especially to try and get the kids to eat their veg and things like that. So sitting down for those, those 10 minutes can, uh, can pay back dividends in, in terms of uh, reducing your stress and knowing where you are. Because there's nothing worse than getting to three, four o'clock in the afternoon thinking, oh my God, what am I gonna cook? Ugh. And um, I think I mentioned this in one of my other videos earlier today as well, because this occasionally Mrs. W will throw me a curveball and at three, three o'clock in the afternoon, say, right, you're doing dinner tonight, I can't be bothered. I'm like, well, all right, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna kick either. So then it's a case of going into the kitchen and thinking, right, what am I gonna do? And um, she's just got to that point where she's hit burnout and she's just like chucked it on me. And then, um, you know, it doesn't help me either. So then you, you can imagine there's, there's some sort of tension. It stops me wanting to cook as well. So let's not go into that, but you know what I'm talking about. So um, something else you can do is give your, your, your husband, your partner a day and you say, right, can you cook on, on this day or these days? And so I'm not pulling my hair out all the time and I'm not going to get burnt out and start having to go at everybody. Um, that definitely helps. And getting the kids involved, you know, so uh, whether it's with a prep or even with the meal. So if you're doing the meal planning thing on, on the Sunday, say, right, what, what, do you, what do you guys want to eat? And obviously that we're trying to, trying to get them to eat a little bit healthier. So, uh, you know, you've got to be a bit sensible about it. Some of their suggestions might uh, be a little bit out there. But yeah, try and get them involved in that. Um, prepping, setting the table, those sorts of things that often, you know, from my experience, um, you know, my, my own mum and, and things like that, and my mother-in-law trying to do everything. You don't need to do everything. You can delegate. You are the boss of the home. So you can delegate these jobs and say, right, you're doing this, you're doing that. And you, you know, talking to those men, you are cooking on these days, and, you know, something like that. But the reason to do this is to so that you can free up your time so you're less stressed and, uh, and yeah, as I've said before, you want to get the support of your family. So uh, making sure they're helping you out and you're not always having to nag them and have a go at them. Um, and also factoring when you're going to eat out. So, you know, once or twice a week when you're going to eat out with the family, you can put that in there as well. And then there's also meal planning uh, apps, websites and things like that which can help you out. So if you're looking for different meals or even if you're looking to eat a certain way, um, yeah, there's definitely websites and, and apps out there that you, you can say, right, I want to make sure I'm eating gluten-free or you know, wheat-free or in a paleo-type diet or keto or you know, all sorts of different things. You can plug that in. I think Mealime, I think, I think that's how you pronounce it, or Mealime. Um, you might want to check that one out. Uh, perhaps just to give yourself a few different ideas in, in terms of what to cook, um, just to mix it up a little bit. And it will actually put you put the meal plan in place for you. So Monday to Friday or Monday to Sunday, whatever you enter into the uh, 
into the app and it'll, it'll spit out a load of different meals for you. You can uh, grab a few that you might like or, and then plug your own in as well. So try things like that. And uh, But the bottom line is, you know, it kind of want to get organized so that you can um, become less stressed around meal time and not burn out and, and not come to dread dinner time. And, um, and before I go, actually one, one other one, one other little tip that worked for us and not perfect, but a star shot for our, our, well, my 10 year old now is perfect. She eats pretty much anything now, but my five year old is still a nightmare. So she will take an hour plus to eat her dinner. Um, sometimes knocking on two hours. So a star chart, things like that, saying if you eat your dinner within an hour, then you get a star. And if you get so many stars, then we'll get you a toy or whatever it happens to be, okay? So, but <laughs> you know, things like that, just to make dinner time less of a nightmare. So in terms of the prep, the cooking, and also sitting down with the family, um, so everyone's not p- pulling their hair out. Um, we often play cards now if my, uh, my five-year-old daughter's playing up. So a few little tips there for you. And if there's anything that uh, that's helps you in terms of uh, stopping the the burnout from feeding the family let us know in the comments below um otherwise enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you soon okay take care for now bye